Hi, this is Attorney John Roach. A lot of people ask me about my recent experience in San Francisco where I, along with my co-counsel, Daniel Rossi of San Rafael, did a two-week trial in November of 2020 during the COVID pandemic with social distancing, masks and all. It was a live trial and the first civil jury trial in San Francisco since the COVID pandemic abruptly halted the civil justice system in March of 2020. The case was Garcia v. Lynn, and it was a personal injury case involving a rear end collision with a back injury. The jury rendered a verdict in the amount of $100,000 for the plaintiff, and we were able to recover an additional $20,000 in prevailing party cost. The defendant was offering garbage in this case, leaving us with no choice but to march towards trial. Had we accepted State Farm's lowball offer, our client perhaps would have been able to pay his medical bills, but he would have walked away with nothing. So the decision whether or not to go to trial was a no-brainer for us. But we had a challenging case. The biggest problem was that our client had a past felony conviction that the judge ruled would come into evidence, despite our motion in limine requesting otherwise. Our other challenge was that the plaintiff's MRI of his low back really didn't show anything. We fought many hard battles in motions in limine and were able to successfully keep out a subsequent DUI collision. When trial call came, we trailed for about a month and then eventually we were assigned to brand new judge Russell Roca and this was his first civil trial. The judge in the court did an amazing job of making the jurors, the parties, and the witnesses feel that safety came first at all times. The court observed strict social distancing and everyone wore masks throughout the entire trial. The court conducted hardship request, which is where a juror can be excused from jury duty due to a hardship such as a scheduling conflict, a pre-existing paid for vacation, or an economic hardship uh, via Zoom outside of the presence of the attorneys. My understanding is that the judge granted essentially every hardship request. Jurors were given an extensive questionnaire to speed up the process of asking jurors questions in live court. Roughly 40 jurors were brought into the jury assembly room for questioning by the co court and the attorneys, with another 20 or so sitting upstairs in the courtroom watching via Zoom. After a day and a half of voir dire, 12 jurors and four alternates were selected. And these jurors were great. They showed up every day ready and willing to serve. The court and the judge made them feel confident that they were safe. Not a single juror got sick. In San Francisco, there's only one courtroom that can accommodate 16 jurors being six feet apart. Each juror's seat was designated by a number. Three jurors were in the box of 12, and the rest of the jurors were spread out in the gallery. I used a large screen for my PowerPoint, and we positioned the screen where all the jurors could see it. All witnesses except for one appeared live, and there was a plexiglass screen at the witness box with the judge instructing each witness to wipe down the exhibit binder after testifying. The, clerk, the court was closed to the public to ensure social distancing. One witness appeared via Zoom during the defendant's case, and the court was able to provide a TV screen to make this happen. While it's not ideal to wear a mask while you're speaking in court, I analogize it to going to the grocery store with a mask. The first time it feels really weird, but after a while you forget you're wearing it and things go back to normal. If, well, at least it feels normal. Should you do a jury trial during COVID? Here are my thoughts on that. In our case, it made sense. Our alternative was to walk away with nothing. And we felt that the defense was taking a ridiculous position. However, in a catastrophic injury case, I would think twice about proceeding with a trial with mask and social distancing. There have been studies 
that jurors who are willing to come in and serve in the height of this pandemic are inclined to come back with smaller jury breaks. In a COVID trial, the jurors do not get to go to lunch together because the cafeteria is closed and it's difficult to find a place to eat. As a consequence, there's less of an opportunity for the jurors to come together and form a community. They're told to be six feet apart at all times. They lose the opportunity to get to know each other and to talk. You don't get to see a group forming where you can anticipate who the leader is and who will be the foreperson. One advantage is if you cut yourself shaving and you're wearing a mask, the jurors can't see it. <laughs> so if you have a case where the defense has taken a ridiculous position and it's not an extremely high value case where the client's future is in your hands, I would encourage you to roll up your sleeves and do a COVID trial. In a large catastrophic injury case, my advice would be to wait until things open up and we have a normal jury trial again because your client's only gonna get one shot to get her or his full cup of justice. Thanks for listening. For more content, like and subscribe to this channel and check out Justice HQ.